Hi everyone, my name is Leal and I am asking you to take a moment to consider subscribing to our channel The Pulp Report, where we deliver daily videos covering everything about films and entertainment. Alrighty then, <laughs> now it's time for the movie news. Let's do it. Once again, Thanksgiving, blah 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 blah. We got a little... Okay, I thanks. I didn't get every tidbit of news. I cherry picked. Right. So first up, a little more recently, we got our first look at Alpha 5 from the upcoming Power Rangers movie, as well as some more images from Rita Repulsa. Did you check these out? <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, I did check them out. Are you a fan of the Power Rangers? I am a fan of the Power Rangers, and you know, I think I think this movie has some potential, so yeah. this look, I mean, I, I like the look of them. So yeah, Bill Hader is voicing Alpha Five. Absolutely. And uh, <laughs> Banks. Elizabeth Banks. Yes, yes, Elizabeth. Okay. Brian Cranston's involved, isn't he? Yeah, he is uh, the Zoran. <laughs> the right. Fully, fully we definitely know our uh, our head. Power Rangers. Yeah, I, I know a little Power Rangers. <laughs> I watched the movie a bunch of time. Massive video back in the day. I rented that. Oh shit, man! Times. I got some Power Rangers VHS. Oh yeah. Right sure. here, man. I used to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. On the day. Right? Getting hated on a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's Saban's Power Rangers. Just couldn't yeah, happen. absolutely. So, couldn't just call it Power Rangers. But I, I'm i interested, and I like the images, mm -hmm. even though it looks weird, but I think it's a good weird. Right. So, I've got an optimistic mind. All right. <laughs> Moving on from Power Rangers. Not only is Gavin O'Connor looking to direct the Green Hornet, but he will also be helming Atlantic Wall, a World War II drama, which is going to be starring Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Another world, going, we're going back to World War II now. A lot of World War II films. Yeah, Bradley Cooper is like a paratrooper, and he's like paratrooping. Right. And he gets stuck behind the enemy lines on, I think, D-Day. Mm. So, a lot of tension. No, I'm a Gavin O'Connor guy, so. You are. Um, which I still haven't seen. Jane got a gun, which is disappointing me. But yeah, I I like this. I like this a lot more than the Green Hornet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, That's I mean, the, I mean, the, I'm sure the Green Hornet, his Green Hornet, will be better than the first. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> all we got is an announcement of the casting, obviously. Yeah, I mean, Bradley Cooper has played a military man successfully. successfully yes. Kind of. Yeah. I think he he fits the role. Yeah. He also plays a mean air guitar. Like, really good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Interesting. So after, after that, we have uh, Dan Trackenberg, director of 10 Cloverfield Lane, is being eyed to direct the upcoming Harry Houdini movie good fit big fan of 10 cloverfield lane so i believe he's an abrams guy right yeah, tracking yeah. her i think he selected him to direct that movie so and abrams is like a, a spielberg guy so it's absolutely yeah. <laughs> yeah so i think he definitely has a bright future yeah yeah i'm 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 yeah. all in for that yeah, good fit, good fit. <laughs> all right so uh next we got a poster for alien covenant this is, of course, a sequel to, uh, I guess, the sequel to Promethe Prometheus. Right. <laughs> which I like. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's a whole... Save it for the holidays, guys. <laughs> We're going to do that in Suicide Squad back to back. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Alien Covenant poster. It, just the, the alien face, kind of in the shadow. Yep. Solid poster. I got my alien on this ho this past Halloween, so I'm you know up to date on my alien mythology, and I think it's I think it's gonna be popping, man. I think Ridley Scott getting them back in that universe. I think it's gonna work, and I like the poster. Yeah. So now, are you more of an alien or a predator guy? Probably predator. Um, but but it's it's close. It's I. I will say ad nauseum on this show. I'm not the biggest sci-fi guy. So 
those two are kind of like uh, hovering on the outside my orbit, you know? It's, and, it's definitely fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's more, it is definitely more fiction than science. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're both good. I like Alien. I like the poster for this. I like the whole idea and the team behind it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a go. It's girl. a go. And Predator with Shane Black, too, man. They're both coming back. Absolutely. So. I'm a big fan of Predator. Our Schwarzenegger. Mm, yes, you are. <laughs> Dylan! That's his. Mm. Call of Duty is just Dylan. Yeah. And then, of course. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you also got Jesse Ventura. It's, you know, you can't go wrong. Oh, it's so a conspiracy. It's like, uh, you know, he ain't got time to bleed. And he's a sexual tyrannosaurus. Great lines mm. by the former governor of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next up, Detective Pikachu. I know you've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's, found it's director in Rob Letterman, who directed none other than Goosebumps. Now, question Will Jack Black play Detective <laughs> Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely, <laughs> because he likes Jack Black. Um. I am a I am a Pokemon fan as well. I don't know why I said it like that. Pokemon, <laughs> but I said it Jamaican oh, reggae that. version. <laughs> Pokemon, but slap at the best man. Yeah, so I mean, it kind of just tells you the direction that they're going with the movie, which is to be expected, more yeah. kid friendly movie and. So I don't know. I don't know what like <laughs> what the fucking story is to be honest with you. So. Um, Pikachu is uh, Sherlock Holmes. Detective? I, I guess it's like a relatively new story. I was like, I didn't even know they were making new stories for Pokemon, but alright. I, mean, I used to watch it as a, as a young lad right. on uh, the Cartoon Network. It was on the Cartoon Network, man. With the, uh, you know, the Rocket Team or Squad or oh. whatever they were called. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I liked it then, but haven't really done anything beyond that, so... Yes. I was on the Pokemon Go train for about two weeks, and that faded really quickly. Yeah, I never... never One of our friends is probably still playing to this day. Yeah. Without naming names. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Jake Chilino. <laughs> the last, last bit of news that I picked out. The director of Rise of the Planet of the Apes... Rupert Wyatt. I'm in. <laughs> has, uh, has John Goodman joining his sci-fi film, Captive State. No, no news on like, <laughs> sort of the plot or anything, but it's yeah. Rupert Wyatt, sci-fi, John, John Goodman. Absolutely. I mean, I'm a huge mark for Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I mean, and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That, that little franchise, man. Whew. War of the Planet of the Apes. Absolutely. I hope it doesn't do what the X-Men did, where it's like Apocalypse I wasn't too excited for after those first two movies. I love the first two X-Men movies. I, so. Apocalypse, man, like Oscar Isaac, one of the best working actors today. Mm. And he was fine as Apocalypse. Mm. But that makeup, whoever did that makeup <laughs> should not do makeup. <laughs> it looked horrible. Sorry, Stacy. It was... Garbage. <laughs> like you could see the seams where they put the like the they connected everything. It was atrocious. Mm. But <laughs> that's something else. Okay. But yeah, Herbert Wyatt. I they he was like one of the names that they were possibly going to have direct uh, Star Trek Beyond. Mm -hmm. But then they landed on Justin Lin or Jeremy Lin or Jeremy Lin, <laughs> <laughs> NBA player Jeremy, Jeremy yes. Lin. Yes. <laughs> they were like, "Nah, <laughs> Rupert White, what have you done?" <laughs> this dude's a point guard. <laughs> this dude's Asian, and he's a point guard in the NBA. That's breaking boundaries. Anyway, but yeah, they didn't. They didn't go with Rupert White, but you know. I think John Goodman works well in the sci-fi world, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In every world, too. But. Sci fi, uh, Coen Brothers. Mm. He works. Mm. Ten Cloverfield. <laughs> so that's the news. Whoo! Boom. Rounding it out this week, previews. The big one coming out, although it's not 
wide, mm. I guess. But if you live in those metropolitan areas, you might be able to seek it out. Go check that out. Coming out this week, we get Jackie, which follows former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy after the assassination of her husband, as well as Commander in Chief. Uh, I didn't write that very good, but yes. All right. He is the commander It's Jackie Kennedy. And her husband, JFK, he gets assassinated. And we follow Portman, Natalie Portman, as Jacqueline Kennedy as she deals with the aftermath. Now, this is uh, Portman's second time working under Darren Aronofsky after Black Swan. Although Aronofsky directed Black Swan, this time he's only producing Jackie. Yeah. Uh, and dating Jennifer Lawrence. Did not know. Yeah, yeah, good for you, Darren. Uh -huh. <laughs> because they're doing a movie together, which now I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, so hopefully that uh, is a good relationship. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, Black Swan... Because he can get dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, he can. Black Swan, she won the Oscar for that. Mm -hmm. So, looks like she's got a good shot at going two for two with Aronofsky. Yeah, I mean, it looks haunting. Harrowing, in other H adjectives that I can't think of right now, but Hoopa Stain <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Hufflepuff as well. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a one is a one woman show. It looks like in this movie, she's in uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a character study. So, yeah, I mean, uh, as far as Aronofsky is concerned, the wrestler, perfect. <laughs> Did you see Requiem for a Dream? I have not checked it out because I have not mentally prepared yeah, man. to check it out. That's a classic, classic movie right there. He's Aronofsky. You know, sometimes I forget about Aronofsky as well because yeah. he doesn't he doesn't do that much. Yeah, he's like he's one of those like PTA guys. He does right. every every once in a while he comes out with a movie, yeah. but it's a movie you want to check out. Yeah. But also, this isn't him directing this. Yes, 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 yes. Don't, not to take away from this director. I yeah. believe he's like a Chilean director yeah, or something. Yeah, seems like Pablo something. Yeah, but shit, he's got some tension in these trailers, so he knows what he's doing, apparently. So, yeah. all in. All in for this movie. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to check it out. Again, with December being so loaded, it's going to be interesting to see what movies we go see. You know, it's, it's going to be some competition every week, so... Yeah. I have to pull some triple headers. Look at that. But that's snow. Who knows? <laughs> oh, man. F New England, man. Yeah. Yeah, do not love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, beyond Jackie, we also get uh, Man Down. This is starring Shia LaBeouf. And honestly, I don't know what this movie is going to be. I don't know if he's looking for his kid or his wife. Jay Courtney with his, like, yeah. war buddy. But he's dead, but he's not dead. Right. It's like a ghost. I don't know. It's not getting good reviews. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, I just, you know. It looks like it was an idea that could have been good, but it wasn't executed very well. Yeah, I mean, I think Shia LaBeouf looks good in this movie. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, he's as crazy as he can be. He's never, I don't think he's ever given a bad performance. Right. Even back in, even Steven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked a dope freestyle on Sway. Check that out. But, uh... <laughs> Little plug. <laughs> <laughs> My show, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, he's doing the John McEnroe film, which should be yeah, yeah. pretty damn interesting. So, I'll probably wait for that. But. Yeah, I won't watch any Shyla until the next Yeah, no, no more Shyla. I'm talking reruns too. Sorry, Lawless. I know you're on tonight, but I ain't watching you. <laughs> I got tricked. <laughs> <laughs> so after, uh, after we get Man Down, Jackie, uh, we also get uh, Anonymous, Pet, and Incarnate. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing huge. Yeah. I don't know what Anonymous is. Pets, like some weird, <laughs> Anonymous. like some chick gets kept as a pet. We don't care. <laughs> and Incarnate is, of course. Yes, the Aaron. We already talked about that. Yeah. Um. It's the calm before the storm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if you can go out and see Jackie, do that. Yeah. If not... Get that out of the way, because we've got a lot of movies coming out. <laughs> yeah, if you can't see Jackie, go see Arrival. But yeah, so that's... Anyway. That is the week that was this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The last week of November. It's been real. Once again, my name is Jake, and this is Justin... 
We'll be back next week. Peace. Deuces.